will be a Marvel Legends review on the Age of Ultron 4 pack that was an Amazon exclusive. It had Thor, Bruce Banner, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. And uh, let's get to this review. The first figure going to review because he is exclusive to the set and has not had an action figure before is Bruce Banner over here also known as the alter ego of the Hulk. It is about six and a quarter inches tall. This action figure uses the the suit based body that they've made before for the chameleon. But unlike the chameleon they changed the shirt here. There's no tie but an open collar that's new and the shirt collar and the suit collar which is kind of like I would say almost beige or a little grayish but they changed the suit color the shirt area here the colors and the head of course and the head sculpt does look pretty good like the actor here is it Mark, Mark Ruffalo Let's try to take a look at the head sculpt. And let's take a look at the figure itself here. You can see that's the new part here. The neck, the collar area. You really cannot take the coat off because the arms have that illusion as being connected to the coat so it wouldn't look right otherwise. And the shoes here, like a dark brown color to it. And again, so far, as I'm making this video, the only way to get this Bruce Banner figure of the movie version is in this box set. The head sculpt. Not really much up or down. But side to side, shoulder area on a ball joint, in out, up down, got a swivel biceps, got a double elbow articulation, the hands you can spin it and go in or out a little bit, open grip, torso, Range is not too bad, but the coat does get in the way. And swivel waist. The hips are on a ball joint. Go in or out. Up or down. Swivel thighs. And you got double knees. And the feet, you can spin to the sides and up or down. And so that's the Bruce Banner. Next is Hawkeye. It is about six and a quarter inches tall. Let's take a look at the costume. Might be a little tough to see the dark colors. Sometimes they're hard to film. I'm trying my best here. You could take this off. this they have reused this part before different colors but he does not have an arrow they have this but there is no arrow for the figure and no sunglasses was it Jeremy Renner here the interpretation the likeness is okay
here. As for the articulation, the head, not much movement at all, but side to side, ball jointed shoulder area, up down, in or out, swivel biceps, double elbow articulation, you can spin the wrist area, go in or out here, this has to hold his bow here grip. This is an open grip for an arrow, but he has no arrow, surprisingly. Not too much range-wise here, and side to side. Hips, ball jointed, side to side. Up or down. Swivel thighs. Double knees. And just articulated by the ankles. In or out, to the sides. And that is Hawkeye. We have Black Widow over here. It is just about six inches tall. And these little sticks she has had an action figure before but this version is new because they added some blue highlight piping to the costume. So these aspects are new and the head sculpt, I'm not sure, might be a reuse or new. Pretty good head sculpt here. Let's take a look. It's the short hair version. And you can see they have a lot of the blue highlights. So making this figure unique to the set. These do not come out, it's just for show side weapons here. And these two sticks really have no storage area on the figure. Just try to show the detailing. You can see the wrist uh, devices here. As for the articulation, the head, pretty good down range, up to the sides, ball jointed shoulder area, in out, up down one point at the elbow and you can spin it the wrists you can spin and in or out a bit upper torso just to the sides not really any down or up nothing at the waist the hips on a ball joint side to side up or down double knee articulation at the ankles up down and to the sides And the last figure to the set is Thor. It is seven and a quarter inches tall. Movie version. I think this is the only version of this costume is in this box set. His hammer. Let's take a look first. And the figure itself. Just try to shoot a face here, the sculpting. The cape is attached well, you cannot take it off. You can see the arms, the red here, a little detailing. This looks like a gold type of paint. Try 
show some of the detail here in the back. As for the articulation, the head to the sides, up or down, is pretty restrained because of the long hair sculpt here. Ball jointed shoulder area, in out, up down, upper bicep swivel, has double articulation at the elbows. The wrist, you can spin it, has a little in or out here, has an open grip, you can't hold this hammer in either hand. Upper torso here, side to side, up or down. Nothing at the waist, so just over here. Hips ball jointed, side to side, up or down. Swivel thighs here, and double knees. And the ankles, up, down, to the sides here. And uh, that's Thor. And so this is the Avengers 4 pack. And gonna get my final thoughts about it in a moment. So overall, what do I think of this four pack of six inch Marvel Legends? It was an Amazon exclusive from the Age of Ultron. You got Thor, Banner, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. I think it's a pretty good investment, especially if you're into getting the movie version of the figures. I think this was the only Thor that they made in that particular costume and Black Widow. And the only way to get Bruce Banner so far was in this pack. It was never released solo. So to get four figures and all together, I think it's a pretty good deal. Unfortunately, Age of Ultron was not one of the better Marvel movies uh, for fans. It was just average. But... The costumes, the figures really stand out quality, and they have a lot of six inch Marvel movie figures nowadays, and if you're missing any figures or need more figures for to make the team, I think this is definitely a good addition, especially because you get some of the popular characters from the Avengers. And so this four pack, I think it's a nice deal for fans, and again, only Amazon had this set. And it can only probably be found in the secondary market now because it's been a while. But still nice. And that's Avengers Age of Ultron 4-pack. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.